Hey crew, what's up? How are we doing? So, I guess we are being punished by Miss Amber- So we are being punished by Amberlynn Reed for asking her to stay on her schedule. We do not have a video at this moment in time I am filming. So that means that drastic measures must be taken. And by drastic measures, I mean it's time. It's time to watch another problematic queen. One of my beautiful, wonderful grandchildren brought to my attention that there is a woman named Amy who apparently has a pet skunk and I'm intrigued. I don't know anything about her. I have literally never heard of her before. But like I said, I assume she's a problematic queen because why else would y'all want me to look at her? View her pixels, if you will. So without further ado, me and and apparently also my cat are going to be watching Amy's Life Journey, a video entitled Why a Skunk? Because that's what I want to know. Good morning you guys! Welcome to Tuesday. I cannot believe we're already two days into the week. <laughs> Yesterday was like such a blur because there was so much excitement going on within the household that I feel like I woke up and it was all like done before I knew it. <laughs> hey, um, might as well just do a video on it, kind of give you guys a little bit of um, back history as to what Sebastian is about, why he came. I think Sebastian might be the skunk. I'm hoping that's true because despite her assumingly being a problematic queen, that is an excellent name for a skunk and I'm here for that. During therapy, um, and it was kind of time, it was going through the time when I was Okay, really, nails. Um, focusing on my trauma of when I was a child and um, the molestation and things like that. Ooh. I really hit a rock bottom. I feel like I have to <laughs> keep saying like, disclaimer, I don't know anything about her. She could be like a trash person and I'm assuming she probably is a trash person, but that's really brave of her to be going to therapy for such a horrendous trauma. And I admire her for that regardless, because it's hard to talk about that. I was kind of, even though my husband was there holding my hand, my therapist was there and I had so much amazing support, it still, it, I felt like I was alone once again and I felt like I was having to walk this journey by myself as I did when I was little and I was a complete- Is this girl gonna tell me that she's feeling the whole of trauma with a skunk? I guess that's an appropriate choice. So during that time we kind of started visiting the subject of an emotional support animal. Are emotional support skunks like a real thing? Because I want one. So once I got pregnant with Omar- Oh she's a mom. Okay work. He was a preemie and with preemies they are not really technically supposed to be around like fur animals things like that so there was a lot oh, that went into that. why we decided to go ahead and rehome Bert and Ernie so that is about four years ago that we placed them for adoption so during that time I mean we pretty much were like anti-animal like we just were like you know it's it's not something that we are about is getting animals and getting rid of them you know we understand that it's a lifetime commitment i understand that this is probably like very important to like the story and it's gonna make sense like oh that's why she brought all that up but i'm falling asleep here girl can you do like a backflip or something it wasn't that ollie wasn't doing a good enough job it wasn't ollie. that you know, I wasn't getting the support at home or in my therapy sessions, but there was- Is Ollie her husband, I'm assuming? Something, and most people that have emotional support animals will understand this. It's something that is yours and it's for you. And there's just a different type of connection that an emotional support animal can give that you might not be able to find in just a human. So me and Ollie started talking about it and we just you know at the time when i discussed it with him six months ago he was just like you know i don't think we're ready and he just he wasn't really interested and and i understood that and i respected that because he wasn't interested he wasn't ready for it and so therefore i knew it was something that i would maybe visit later on but it just wasn't something for that moment i went ahead and brought it back up to him and because again we're kind of getting into deep um therapy again so my therapist brought it back up if you know me and ollie had talked about it and you know i told her that you know i did you know obviously months ago but we haven't visited the conversation again so i brought it back up to him and he was like you know amy he said i can't even lie this is actually a little more boring than amberlynn reed <laughs> 
bitch. Just, just, I'm sorry that you need an emotional support animal, but honey, please just get to the point. It's only been five minutes and I feel like I've been watching this for like two hours, like sis. Cats were pretty much out of the question because I'm not much of a cat person. Um, cats are kind of- Girl, those are fighting words. Kind of one of those that, eh. If they want to be loved on, they'll love on you, but if they don't want- Girl, my cat is the most loving queen in the world. She's right here next to me right now. I'm obsessed with her if you can't tell from my shirt and my various other cat shirts. Maybe they're sensing something bad in you because I've never had a bad experience with cats in my whole life. And I've been around a lot of cats because I'm a crazy cat lady. Don't talk about cats that way, sweetie. So as we discussed all these things and, you know, discussed the options and stuff, Ollie said, you know, give me a couple of days and let me- let me do a little bit of research and I'll come back to you on the subject. And I was like, okay, you know, I mean, it's fine. So a couple days later goes by and he comes back and he says, you know, I've done a lot of research and I, I've read about, you know, a couple of different animals. And he said, you know, what would you think about a Phoenix Fox? And at <gasps> first, oh my gosh, I would love to have a pet Fox. Um, they're very cute, but they're very skittish and they're very hard to get to, um, I don't think that they would work well with a home with kids in it. I think that it's more of an animal that you would need just adults or a one-on-one -on -one person or one-on fox person. So I was just <laughs> like, eh, I don't know, but I'll call the you know Fish and Wildlife and see about it. I called them. They were like, absolutely not in Oregon. It is illegal to have a fox in, in Oregon um, as a pet. Well, we actually, we were discussing a monkey, but those were illegal. There's absolutely <laughs> Um, <laughs> I feel like if the, a fox is illegal, a monkey is definitely going to be illegal. No monkeys allowed it to be captivity in Oregon. So that was out of them. No monkey is allowed to be captivity in Oregon. We love that. So when I ran across the word skunk, they were like, actually, you can have a skunk. And I'm like, really? And so uh, we started just you know the the slow process that happens with getting an exotic animal you have to have permits here in oregon to have one so they are legal to have an organ but you cannot breed them nor can you buy them in oregon so you have to buy them out of state and either have them flown in or you have to go and pick it up and bring it back in but you cannot purchase or sell a skunk in Oregon. When you want a skunk is far and in between. You usually have to put your name on a waiting list, sometimes one to two years ahead of time wow. to get yourself a skunk. So I reached out to one lady. She had one that was two years old. I really didn't, wasn't feeling it too much. Um, I really wanted one from baby so I can raise it up once. One from baby. So then we kept looking. I found another breeder. I talked to him and he was like, actually I have um, a set of triplet boys and um i have three girls but the three girls are sold and one of the males are sold so i have two of the triplets left and i was like really and he's like yes yeah. so we started the whole put a deposit down i called fish and wildlife we had to start the process of getting the um the permits which the permit is only twenty eight dollars a year that is nothing i thought it was going to be a couple hundred and <clears throat> it was just something like boom boom i mean it happened so smooth that I was like this is too good to be true like this is honestly too good I was just waiting for something to you know hiccup and be like oh sorry it's not gonna work out so and I wanted a male that was the other thing too is I didn't want a female I wanted a male Why? and and he was a male obviously so no. um after getting the permits and you know getting together with the breeder through email and text messages he got the flight purchase and he flew him out yesterday and he came in at 1 10 yesterday in portland and Ooh. we just went to the airport and picked our baby up and brought him home um, so far he's done amazing honestly i mean it's only been the first day and a half well yeah it hasn't even been 24 hours yet <laughs> but he's just such a little love bug he loves to be up behind my neck um he will nestle his nose up inside my hair so he's getting mm. that smell and i already feel like we're connecting him and me because I can reach into his, you know, his little cage and he doesn't squirm away from me, he doesn't run, nothing. Oh, that's so cute. Um, however, if the kids go in and try, he's just like, ah! <laughs> um, and Ollie, he's, you know, he's he's involved, but he's letting me kind of take the lead right now. And I think that's, you know, that's I appreciate that with him. Mm -hmm. is he's just kind of letting me take the lead because I do want to bond with him the most. So right now, me and him are in our bonding stage and um, he's just awesome. He, last night, <laughs> last night he kept me up. <laughs> I'm going to say that. He got me up. 
So I tried to do the whole, he's going to sleep with me. And all he's like, uh, uh, no, 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 no. He needs to be on a routine. He needs to know when it's bedtime, it's bedtime. And he, so Ollie was like, no, we're not going to start this him sleeping with you every single night because it's already hard enough. We have, you know, the kids that we're trying to break from sleeping with us. Um, and so nighttime, he needs to know it's bedtime. Um, right now he is on kitten soft food, which we are trying to, we will be trying to wing him from that here very soon. Um, because they say that kitten food is a little bit fatty. So we don't want him to have any weight issues because that can really damage their back. Yeah. Same with any living creature as we all know we're just kind of taking it slow and we'll introduce things to him little by little last night like i said he had some watermelon oh my gosh he was loving it up he was sitting Same. there with his little hands Very he relatable. was eating and chomping away on his watermelon in fact i'm going to get him some watermelon here pretty soon so i can kind of show you guys him eating but um so excited yeah he's just he's a little love bug and i am so excited to share him with you guys and to let you guys see him growing and being a part of my channel because this is part of my journey and he is going to be with me all the time. So anyways, if you guys have more questions, definitely shoot them uh, my direction. I will try and answer them as I see them. Uh, I might answer them through videos just because I get multiple questions of the same thing. So I might as well just you know, like I said, answer in a video. Skunks are well known for eating absolutely anything that they find on the ground, they will eat it. <laughs> so I told the kids, I'm like, you guys, we have a little garbage can that is going to be running on the street or on the floor. So got to pick up food because I am not going to have him walking around, not being able to walk because he's so big. <laughs> so anyway, sounds like someone we know. I will go and get him set up so that you guys can watch him eat some watermelon. And uh, again, excited. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday and enjoy your hold on, child. Me, enjoy your video of Sebastian. And I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye bye. Oh, look at how little it is. Oh, I love him. Little baby. Just a little bit. Okay. Because he needs okay, okay. Ten, ten, oh, so cute. That's how I feel. <laughs> oh. Toes. So cute. Oh, this should have been the whole video. I'd have been down for this. So cute. Love it. Oh my gosh, I feel like I need to take a nap after that. That drained my soul, girl. It was worth it to see the baby skunk at the end. That was very cute, but sis, you, you need. You, I, I want to give that girl like seven espresso shots before her videos because, girl, bitch. So fill me in on the tea on this girl. I assume that y'all, since you're a little smarter than me, y'all know like what's good and what's not so good with this girl. I want to know. I'm curious. So I upload every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. EST. So I hope y'all stick around to see that good, good content I put out for you. Oh, also, random idea I had this morning. I was thinking I would love if I could showcase some like small businesses and all that good, good from my grandchildren. So if anybody has like a business business or they want to shout out their own YouTube channel or anything like that, just comment down below like what you would want me to say and I'm totally, totally down to shout you out, to help in any way I can. If you upload videos, I am more than happy to showcase your channel. If you have a small business you're trying to grow, more than happy to help you out. Just comment, let me know how I can help because I love you and I just appreciate you very much. All right, thank you for spending precious minutes of your life with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on your way out and I will see you Tuesday. Goodbye.